Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have n plus 3 cubed plus n plus 5 cubed equals to 8. And we will solve this problem for the values of n or, or the real values of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first uh, we will rewrite this equation as uh, here you have n plus uh, 3 and it's whole cubed and we will write it as uh, n plus 4 minus 1 and it's whole cubed plus we have n plus uh, 5 and we write it as uh, n plus 4 plus 1 and it's whole cubed and it is equals to 8. So here you see that uh, we will uh, just simplify the uh, terms and now we will just substitute here n plus 4 equals to y and similarly this n plus 4 is also equals to y. So uh, when we take uh, y equals to n plus 4 then the above expression will be uh, looks like in this form y minus 1 whole cubed plus y plus 1 whole cubed equals to 8. So now this equation will become uh, in simplified cubic form uh, so that here we will just apply the nice cubic formula in order to solve this problem. So you know about this formula if we have a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a squared plus a b plus b squared. So now we use here this nice cubic formula on the above term. Uh, so uh, here you see that we have uh, a equals to y minus 1 and b equals to y plus 1. So now we can apply here this nice cubic formula on the above term and it will be written as a plus b and we have a equals to y minus 1 plus b equals to y plus 1 into we have a squared and our a equals to y minus 1 whole squared plus a b and we have a is y minus 1 and b is y plus 1 and plus b square and our b is y plus 1 whole square and this is whole equals to 8. So now uh, this equation will be comes in this form and again we have some simplifications here uh, and we can uh, just simplified this one and here you get uh, you see first this minus 1 and plus 1 are cancelled by each other and here we obtain y, y plus y equals to 2 times of y and here we open y minus 1 whole square and you know that uh, uh, the formula of a minus b whole square it is equals to a squared minus 2 times of a b plus b squared and our b is 1 and plus we have y minus 1 times of y plus 1 so it is equals to y squared minus 1 squared and we again open this nice square identity and you will be written as y squared plus 1 squared plus 2 times of y and this whole equation equals to 0. So uh, in the next step we will make a little bit simplifications here so that we will just add or subtract the like terms and here first we move this two on the right hand side and we write it as y times of y squared plus y squared plus y squared equals to three times of y squared and we have this is the minus two y and plus two y are cancelled by each other and we will just get here 1 square and plus and minus 1 square so these are again cancelled by each other and we have just only this uh, 1 square and you you will just try it as uh, 1 squared 
uh, sorry hey, i think so there is a mistake because we know that uh, our cubic formula is a plus b times of a squared minus a b plus b squared so uh, this sign should be a negative sign so when you open this formula then you will get here minus y squared plus 1 so uh, here you see that uh, we have situation some changed so this is the negative sign and positive sign are cancelled by each other and this term could not be cancelled by this one so here you get uh, y squared so this is the y squared and this is the 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 3 times of 1 and this is whole equals to here we move this 2 in the right hand side and we have 8 over 2 so uh, in the next step uh, we will just write it as uh, we multiply this y on both of the terms and you will uh, obtain here y cubed plus 3 times of y and here you have 2 4 the 8 and we move this 4 in the left hand side and it will becomes minus 4 equals to 0 so now this equation will becomes in cubic form so that here we easily make the factors of this equation and we write it as y cubed plus we have 3y and we write it as minus times of y plus 4 times of y minus 4 equals to 0 so uh, here first we take common y on the first two terms and you get here y squared minus 1 and here we take common plus 4 and you will get here y minus 1 equals to 0 so now in the next step we will just use here the nice square identity on this term and we write it as y times of y minus 1 into y plus 1 plus 4 times of y minus 1 equals to 0. So now you will just uh, see here we have y minus 1 be the common term and we write it as y minus 1 times of uh, we multiply this y on this term and you get here y times of y plus 1 plus here you take common y minus 1 and you only obtain plus 4 and this whole equals to 0. In the next step we will make uh, again little bit simplifications here and you get y minus 1 times of uh, we multiply this y on both of the terms and you get y squared plus y plus 4 equals to 0. So that here we have two cases here and our first case is we write y minus 1 equals to 0 and our second case is we write y squared plus y plus 4 equals to 0. So in the first case you will get the value of y equals to 1 and here you first check that is this equation have real roots or not by using the discriminant formula so uh, first we can write the uh, coefficients here and you have a equals to 1 b equals to 1 and c equals to 4 and our discriminant formula will be looks like in this form b squared minus 4 times of ac and now we can put all the values of a b and c here and you get 1 squared minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 4 and you have 1 minus 4 times of 4 is 16 so 1 minus 16 equals to minus 15 and it is less than 0 uh, so uh, this shows that uh, our uh, delta is less than 0 and we can just say that uh, this quadratic equation has no real root but in this problem we need only real root so that we will just reject it this case and we can just proceed here this nice case only so here you have y equals to 1 and now we back substitute the value of y and it is n plus 4 equals to 1 so now we move this 4 in the right hand side and you will get here uh, n equals to 1 minus 4 and finally you will uh, just uh, obtain here uh, n equals to minus 3 because 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 so this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos